Rob in Hornby Island, Canada. <laughs> I thought it said Horny Island, Canada. Sorry. Uh, can't take my mind out of the gutter. All right. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Rob in Hornby Island, Canada writes to me. I enjoy your videos. Thank you, sir. And I appreciate the time and effort you put into them. <laughs> your jokes aren't too good. <laughs> You recently spoke about the need to replace aging capacitors in speaker crossovers because their values can drop over time, 10 to 20 years. Do potted crossovers, as in my Wilson Sasha's, eliminate or reduce the need to do this? Uh, no. No, it doesn't. So, let's be clear. Film capacitors, a well-made film capacitor, which I know Wilson uses, we use, and a number of people, well, you know, enough people use well-made film capacitors, you're not really going to have a problem with aging. It's mostly the bigger electrolytics that are going to be problematic. And in any kind of reasonable crossover, you're probably going to have some of those. So, does the potting, so it's, it, it, for those that don't know what he's talking about, in some designs, apparently Wilson, they'll put tar, they'll put some kind of epoxy over and, and put it in a, in a case and encase it, entomb it in this, in this material so you can't get at it, you can't see it, any of that stuff. We have done that in the past with electronics, and the reason we did it was to keep vibration and any kind of interaction with acoustics at a minimum. So I imagine that's why Daryl, who probably, uh, Daryl Wilson, probably was instrumental in designing all of that, I'm guessing. And uh, that's probably why they did that, other than just being super fancy, and Wilson is super fancy. Love it. But I imagine they did it to try and keep any kind of the vibrations from impacting the sound quality of their speakers. So if you think about it, Wilson puts a ton of money and a ton of effort into deadening their cabinet. They have special materials and they go to a lot of trouble to make sure the cabinet is as dead as possible. And that, to me, just falls into line with their philosophy of just trying to make sure that everything except the drivers are as dead as possible. So, okay, that's my guess. But no, I don't think it's going to help at all with the longevity. All right, thanks for the question. Talk to you later.